Hey, what is good, everyone? Today I'm bringing you the seven foot two web and yama or web bananas build in NBA 2K24. So if you guys could hit that like and subscribe button, I'd really, really appreciate it. This build is super deadly. Okay, this guy absolutely smoked us, so I went around and stole his build and then recreated it. Okay, it's kind of crazy that you can be seven foot two with these stats as long as you lower your wingspan a little bit. But because you're seven foot two, you still have a ridiculously good wingspan. This is still a really good sensor build, and it's a crazy strength big build because even if you downgrade your height to let's say seven foot one or seven foot and you still have a seven foot two wingspan your three ball still maxes out at an 85 so it doesn't change depending on your height the only thing that matters is your wingspan which is kind of ridiculous and very stupid so as you guys can see position center height seven foot two weight 224 pounds and then wingspan seven foot two. 224 pounds is just enough to get silver bulldozer, which is a really good badge. That's why we're going that weight. So then we go ahead and click continue. And these are the attributes, but just continue playing the video, okay? Don't pause. You know what I'm saying? Let the video play and copy down as you need to. You know what I'm saying? Please don't pause it. I need my watch time. But as you can see, close shot to a 95 gives us Hall of Fame fearless finisher. Um, it also gives us a bunch of other really good badges. Um, when it gets close to 95, driving layup to a 61. And then we go down to driving dunk, which we go 77, um, which is the max we can get. It. As you can see, it gives us silver bonus. We don't really care about that. We just want the highest driving dunk because driving dunk is really good. It's going to give us the most amount of animations and stuff. Standing dunk 90 that gives us gold rise up and gold precision dunker 90 standing dunk is like is the probably the highest you need Okay, you get pretty much all the good standing dunk animations. It's really good 85 pose control gives us silver unpluckable so we can low-key cook up in this weapon on his build Okay, I've seen people ISO with similar builds um, so you can definitely cook up with that and 85 pose control obviously also gives you um gold drop stepper and stuff all the other badges Hall of Fame post fade feed on with that mid-range um, which is kind of crazy. See, that's why we have that 92 mid-range. Get gold catch and shoot, gold dead eye, um, all that good stuff. Max out our three-point shot. You can see we get reason we want 85-3 is so that we get bronze limitless range. And we also get gold corner specialist, but really just put on that bronze limitless range. Um, super, super good badge. And we need 85-3, and somehow you can get bronze limitless range at 7 foot 2 with a 7 foot 2 wingspan. It's kind of ridiculous. And then when you upgrade your three-point shot to an 85, you still get that 67 free throw. Um, yeah, which you can see. Oh no, it was the mid-range we needed for once you max out your mid-range, you get the 67 free throw. Pass accuracy, 35. It's not ideal, I'm gonna be honest. You know what I'm saying? When you're playing center, it's actually good to have a really high passing accuracy. But we're trying to cook up like wet bananas, okay? 65 ball handling, uh, that gives us some of the better animations you can get for a center. You'll be able to speed boost with some animations with that. And then 48 speed with ball gives us our silver big driver, as you can see. Then down to interior defense, 82. I believe we need it for gold anchor. Oh no, silver post down, post lockdown and uh, gold workhorse. We need the 82 interior defense for. 82 interior defense is surprisingly good, okay? If you have someone, if you're playing against someone that doesn't have post control and then inside center, that will generally stop them. And then 80, 92, sorry, 92 block for gold anchor. Um, an essential badge for just, yeah, locking down the paint. Offensive rebounding, a 48. That the only reason we got offensive rebounding is a 48 is because we needed it for um, defensive rebounding, I believe. Yeah, as you can see, when you go drop the offensive rebounding, defensive rebounding drops as well. We go 83 defensive rebounding so that we get that silver rebound chaser. You can see, you need that 92, I believe. But yeah, um, speed uh, 60, acceleration 48. You can see that's what we need for big driver, silver. Strength, maxed it at 84. Strength is super important for centers. And you can see the reason we went for 84 strength was based on the weight, so that we could get silver bulldozer. 75 vert, um, it's good for rise up. But yeah, just being able to have that high vert just allows you to get so many more rebounds, so many more dunks. Vertical is actually really important. I noticed some players that have vertical compared to players that don't have vertical play way better in the paint. But um, yeah, and then 95 stamina for gold workhorse. And as you guys can see, shades of Victor Wet Bananas. Okay, that's crazy. <laughs> and DeAndre Ayton and Brook Lopez. But um, yeah, it's a seven foot two, three level threat. That's pretty crazy. Anyway, man, this build is definitely absolutely deadly. Probably the best stretch build in the game. So if you guys enjoy the video, please hit that like and subscribe button. I really, really do appreciate it. And I'm um, out. See ya.